Hello, I'm in the Home Designer Pro 2012, just drew a box, automatic roofs are turned on. And uh, I'm going to sh shift select these two end walls, tell them to be gable walls over on the roof tab. <clears throat> Which gives us a gable roof. Okay, I'm going to hit Shift F6 to split the screens. Yeah, like that. Click on this screen to make it the active screen. Move in. Now I'm going to take these two walls and open the dialog box, go to the roof tab. <clears throat> and I'm going to tell those to have like uh, 16, 12 as a pitch. And the second pitch to be um, 412. I'm just guessing. And I want the uh, in from the baseline of the second pitch, this uh, 412, to be uh, 66 inches in. Click OK. OK, there's a gambrel roof or a barn roof, whatever you want to call it. Now, porch. I'm going to go to the deck walls and uh, draw some deck walls. Uh, shift select those. I don't think I got all. Yeah, I think I got the third one that time. And <clears throat> I'm going to tell those. Uh, let's see where is that? Yeah, here it is. Post a beam. I think that's what you had. Oops, I missed one. I thought maybe I missed one. Okay. Now, to finish this up, I'm, I've got this wall here selected. <clears throat> I'm going to shift select that one and tell and program it on the roof on their roof tabs to uh, be full gable. You notice no, nothing's happening, and I, I was expecting that because a, any room named deck by default doesn't have a roof or a, or a ceiling. But we're going to set this up now. This wall out here, <clears throat> and this is in the uh, roof styles tab on how to make a shed roof. <clears throat> so we're going to make the uh, pitch here um, 412. I haven't worked out the entire geometry, but that ought to be close enough. And you see nothing's happening <clears throat> because that's controlled by this uh, dialog here. No roof, no ceiling. We'll click OK. And uh, OK, 412 is a little steep. I don't know what your intention is, but uh, Click on that, open it, go to 312. 312 is the lowest pitch you can put on a, yeah, okay, that's a little bit better. Now, if I put a second floor up here, I'd have more geometry and so forth, but that's basically, uh, <coughs> excuse me, how that goes down. And it's, I preach this all the time, but it's all settings. And if your settings, uh, like a porch like that would probably be, uh, not at zero, same as the house, probably a little bit less so that water doesn't blow in the house. <clears throat> and uh, there's some other things, embellishments you can make, but uh, we'll put a door there. Uh, on this sort of thing, uh, when you click into, where's the door? There it is. It just cuts a, uh, it just cuts a hole in the railing. But this tutorial isn't about Every, every possible combination of stuff. But, uh, <clears throat> of course, it's easier for me because I've done this before and I expected the results. When you're first learning it, I understand uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard to believe that things are as they are. But that's basically it on a gambrel roof and a front porch. Or this porch thing would work on uh, a gable roof. Well, I'll just show you. Go over here to these, uh, <clears throat> these two walls where the gambrel roof was programmed and get rid of the, we'll get rid of the upper pitch <clears throat> and it'll automatically go to a, a gable roof or a very steep one. I've still got those selected. Let's make it um, 12, 12 is a pretty common pitch for a story and a half. You get the idea. Software just does what it's told and uh, it's incumbent upon new users to find out how, how you talk to it. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your kind attention. Hope this helps some people.